Despite winning three NBA titles together, Tony Parker says Tim Duncan did not utter a word to him his rookie season in the NBA. I'm Jim Basco with the latest ESPN headlines. Things have since gone a lot better. They've had 13 straight 50-plus win seasons together with the San Antonio Spurs. We are joined on the phone by ESPN NBA insider Amin El Hassan. And Amin, this is uh, perhaps a French-English thing, a language barrier that got in the way in that rookie season. But how about you paint a picture? What do you suppose the transition was like for Tony Parker coming from France, playing in the United States for the Spurs. Coach Pop was notoriously hard on him and then not being able to communicate with Tim Duncan, and he's the point guard of the team. Oh, well, you know, I think, as with any great story, there's a little bit of embellishment <laughs> going on there. Uh, uh, you know, obviously there's also the, the language barrier, as you, as you mentioned. Tim Duncan is not exactly the tattiest <laughs> guy in the world. That's true. All these things factor in when you, when you say... Oh, he never he didn't spoke speak to me my whole rookie year. That said, uh, I can see that the communication wasn't quite there. Uh, Tony was famously top looking boy. He was the scapegoat, yeah, yeah. Uh, and he caught a lot of the brunt of uh, the ire from Pop when things went wrong. Uh, we had Goran Dragic in Phoenix as a rookie coming from Slovenia, and and he experienced some of the same. Uh, issues as a point guard, he, he spoke English, but it was with a very thick accent. Sometimes it was mm -hmm. hard to understand the plays coming out of his mouth, and uh, he was shy about his end of the English language, to be frank. Uh, but for Tony to say that Tim didn't speak to him at all that whole rookie year, I'm a little skeptical. How about that? Well, I'm just trying to take Tony Parker for his word. I mean, that's all. He he, he is <laughs> quoted as saying, "I remember I was very happy that he." Found that he finally talked to me. So uh, he, clearly, right. clearly he had a lot of talking from Coach Pop in that first year. He's painting a picture where, where Tim is like some sort of monk <laughs> with, a, with a vow of silence that he won't break for anything. And it took winning a championship for him to finally acknowledge him. Yeah. Oh yeah, that sounds, it's a great story. How yeah, about that? absolutely. He's had uh, they've had a lot of success with one another. Another terrific season this past regular season. How would you categorize the relationship with the duo today? Look, sunrise, sunset, right? So the beginning, it was Tim's team, and Tony was counted upon to be a high-level contributor. And I think now it's safe to say that it's Tony's team, and Tim is considered a high-level contributor. It's the perfect symbiosis between young and old. It's what you want when you're building a franchise. Your two best players to understand when it's whose turn to step up and be the man. Amin El Hassani is ESPN NBA insider. We appreciate the insight, Amin. No problem. Thanks for watching. Again, the San Antonio Spurs 62 and 20 during the regular season. Top seed in the Western Conference coming off that game one rally for a victory over the Dallas Mavericks. You can read more about this story right here on ESPN.com. With the latest ESPN headlines, I'm Jim Basquiat.